A tautomeric shift is a temporary mutation. So the mutation happens for a small amount of time, and then it reverts back to whatever it was originally. So when you think about solving tautomeric shift problems, it's extremely important to keep in mind what is happening to that DNA at different stages of its life. So what we'll do is we'll solve this problem together, and then I'll give you a problem to try on your own, and then we'll come back and solve that together. So a temporary tautomeric shift occurred, causing cytosine to pair with adenine. This leads to a what? So what type of tautomeric shift would that lead to? A transvision or a transition? So when we try to solve that, the first thing we need to do is think about what happens to that DNA originally. Okay? So originally, we have a cytosine, and that is going to pair with a guanine. That follows normal DNA rules. So then we have this weird shift happen where our cytosine is now pairing with adenine. Okay, well, nothing extremely crazy has happened so far. Well, yeah, but the main part that's going to cause an error or an issue is when we undergo replication. So we have to think about what happens under replication. So our cytosine and our adenine would both undergo replication with complementary strands because the cytosine and the adenine back in the shift make up one strand of DNA. The cytosine is one strand and the adenine is the other strand. So the cytosine and the adenine are on anti-parallel strands which are complementary to one another. So what we can do to help visualize this and help us in the next coming steps is assign arbitrary polarities to these strands. So the cytosine I'll just label as three prime to five prime, and the adenine will of course be five prime to three prime since they're complementary. So I'll just revert that onto the replication label, and then we can put in our complementary strands. So the cytosine will complement a guanine, and the adenine will complement a thymine. Okay, and then fill in those polarities. Again, those are arbitrary. And once we've done that, we've made it really easy to see which strands are equivalent to one another. So we know that the cytosine is running from 3' prime to 5', prime, and that thymine is also running from 3' prime to 5'. Prime. So those two are equivalent. And then our guanine is 5' prime to 3', prime, and the adenine is 5' prime to 3'. Prime, so those are equivalent. So now that we've found all the equivalent strands, we can just pick one of those sets. So either the cytosine and thymine, or the guanine and the adenine, and analyze those a little bit further. So what I'll do is I'll take the cytosine and the thymine, just randomly, and I'll analyze it. So I know that my thymine here is a pyrimidine, and I know that my cytosine is also a pyrimidine. And so to answer the question, we know that going from pyrimidine to pyrimidine is a transition tautomeric shift. And so that's the answer to this question. So now here's a question for you to try. So a temporary shift occurred causing adenine to pair with guanine. Does this lead to a transvision or a transition tautomeric shift? Okay, so we think about what happens originally. Right, so originally we have an adenine and that would typically pair with the thymine, but we have this weird shift happen, which causes this adenine to now pair with a guanine. No problem until we get to replication, right? So at replication, we get our adenine and our guanine, and we'll assign arbitrary polarities back at the shift. Again, arbitrary, so it doesn't really matter which way you do this. And then you fill in the complements. So adenine complements thymine and guanine complements cytosine. Fill in their polarities with respect to what we already had assigned. Okay? And then find the equivalents. So adenine is 3 prime to 5 prime, cytosine is 3 prime to 5 prime, and then thymine is 5 prime to 3 prime, and guanine is 5 prime to 3 prime. So when we analyze this, we can just pick one of the sets. So I'll just say adenine to cytosine 
Well, adenine is a purine, and we know that cytosine is a pyrimidine. And so if we go from purine to pyrimidine, or pyrimidine to purine, that is a transversion tautomeric shift. And so that's the answer to this question, and I hope that was helpful.